So if you'd like to know what the live lead search can do for you, I'd be happy to show you. Um, when you come pick bulk, the bulk scraper is the uh, most powerful one because what it's going to do, it's going to go find 200 contacts per domain. Uh, I repeat, 200 contacts per domain. And I'd like to show you the example of uh, like this. The back end looks like this. Uh, I'm not going to explain that whole thing. I'm just going to show you how it works. And then I, I will elaborate a bit later. Uh, but this is always now listening. It's always waiting for your searches. Uh, and when you perform a search, it triggers it and it sends you everything you need to know. So a search is bulk. And we're going to search for... Um, Let's think about a nice place. Oh, let's do Mexico, La Paz, Mexico. So random, right? Mexi, Mexico. La Paz, Mexico. Okay, uh, I like to find 10. Language is um, English, even though the language there is obviously Spanish, but we like Google to search in English. And country is going to be Mexico. Yeah, and then you want to go choose your, your go high level tag. Mine's going to be live leads create contact. Okay, um, and let's quickly monitor that as well. So in your opportunities tab, <laughs> you should have a pipeline uh, for when new contacts are created through the search, right? So you can see here, uh, that's something else. Live leads, MSE results. So map search exports results. Okay, you can see there's been a few here in here already. There's quite a few in here. But keep your eyes on over here because this is where we're going to be receiving the new leads now. So we're going to go and we're going to go just simply say search. Very first step is we have a look at the actual um, workflow running. Okay. And then you will see it, the leads populate in two places. They'll be populating over here. Okay, it's the very first place they'll, they'll populate um, in your log. And then the second place they're going to populate is going to be inside of the CRM. So you can see that there it's running already. So there's Kelly Harder. Now it starts running in, and as they open up the email, they go through the stages. They'll go through email opens, all of these stages um, systematically. You can see them running over there. And then you've got... Uh, you should see them in here as well, but because my computer is a bit slow, it's, it's, it's literally just taking its time. But there you can already see Costa Baja Resort. I've actually been there. There's, there's your very first lead. Um, and if you click on your lead, you'll see their details. It's just giving you an error there because when you click on it, it's also going to calculate the distance from you to that lead. But if that person is overseas, then it's not going to, it can't calculate anything. So just bear that in mind. Uh, and you can actually see the contacts coming in here as well. You can see uh, job, job title, do, director of sales. Uh, first, that's really good if you ask me. Okay, and then here, they're still coming in. They're still coming in. Um, I'm going to go stop this because I asked it for 10. 10 businesses, right? This is still running on the first one. I can tell that. I can tell you right now, it's, it's still running on the first one. You can see that's the search results. And then it's going to give you... 10 businesses, right? Because we asked for 10 resorts in Mozambique. So there's one, two. I'm going to stop it because otherwise it'll just run forever and it'll use all my credits. Okay, so it's not, it's, it's going to run by itself, it's fine. Uh, but you can see I've got bundle three, bundle four. Bundle five, and then when you get to number five, it usually cl uh, closes the uh, the drop downs. Yeah, so there's the ten results, and then it will then go and scrape each individual result, okay, in this next module, and then present you with the uh, the results. Here we can see their their site de site data. We can see their emails. Okay, and here's what I mean by it'll bring back 200 emails. Okay, you, you can see there's two different sets of emails here. There's there's emails and there's external emails. Okay, your emails. This is, this is literally 
let's just go down to the see there's the first hundred emails okay um, some have full names some data has more data than uh, uh, than others there's the, the, uh, there's no way to get around that um, here you've got the external emails as well now the external emails are a bit difficult to explain but I will try and do my best at another time for now Please have a look at that. That's essentially what it does. You, you can see the phones, cell phones, everything. And there's no better way of explaining how this works than that. Um, you can still see it running. You, you'll still see it'll continue running until you tell it to stop. It's, it's, it's literally, that's what it does. Cool. Thank you.